Dear Goinkans, hope you are all well. As we all know that every Thursday we go with the listening comprehension. Today's listening comprehension is about life at grandfather's farm. As a child, I loved to visit my grandfather's farm. There was always something new to do, something new to see and to enjoy. My grandfather was always there by my side as a friend. One day, I found a hedgehog rolled up into a ball. I knew that hedgehogs roll up like this when they see danger and are frightened. I wanted to see him unroll himself. I waited for a long time, but he would not put out his head. At last, I tried to unroll him with a stick. My grandfather came up just then. No, no, he said. That is not the way, Tony. He took the hedgehog inside the house and placed it before the fire. In a short time, the hedgehog began to get warm. He stuck out his head and feet. I was very pleased to see him walking towards me. People are like hedgehogs in one way, Tony said my grandfather never try to make anyone do anything just treat him with a little kindness then he may be glad to do whatever it is you want him to do my grandfather and my sisters and brothers liked to pick blackberries when they went to pick them i liked to go too but i was lazy I always took the smallest basket. While the others picked the blackberries, I sat in the shade. One day, I put a lot of moss in my basket. Then I put a few blackberries on top. The basket looked full. My grandfather said he was proud of my hard work. The next morning, my grandmother made pies. There was a little pie baked just for me. It looked good, but when I began to eat it, I found under the top layer of the blackberries, nothing but moss. You can guess how surprised I was. My grandfather looked at me with a smile. When you cheat others, you cheat yourself, he said. He didn't need to say more. My grandmother and grandfather had taught me a good lesson. I learned many, many things at my grandfather's farm. I found out that it is always better not to waste words. My grandfather wanted us children to talk only when we really had something to say. Think before you speak, he often said. One morning, my grandfather and I were out in the field, near the road. I had been talking on and on without stopping. Suddenly, my grandfather asked me to listen to the birds. Then he asked, Do you hear anything beside the birds? I listened. Yes, I said, I hear a cart going down the road. That is right, Tony. I know it's an empty cart. Do you know how I can tell? No, I answered. It makes so much noise, my grandfather said. Empty carts always make the most noise. Now answer the following questions. Choose A, B or C and complete each of the sentences given below. First, the storyteller in the passage is a. The grandfather B. Tony C. A girl Second, the hedgehog stuck out his head and feet when A. Tony beat him with a stick B. He was placed before the fire and got warm C. Grandfather called out to him Third, when Tony's grandfather saw his basket which looked full, he a. Was angry and called Tony a cheat. B. Wanted to check the basket at once. C. Said he was proud of Tony's hard work. 
4. The incident of the pie taught Tony the lesson that A. You should not cheat B. You should be kind to others C. You should not talk too much Last one Grandfather could say that the car was empty because A. He had seen it before B. It made so much noise C. It was going very fast Learn words. Given below are the meanings of some words in the passage. Find the words which fit these meanings. First, take from a plant. Second, cooked in an oven. Third, spend uselessly, use foolishly and without care. Four, all at once. Fifth, having nothing in it. Day going cons. If you are not able to answer the following questions, listen to the audio again, watch the video and try to solve the comprehension. Thank you for listening to me.